Coach, thank you. We are over 4,000 miles away from where you're seated in Orlando as we come to you from the European home of the NFL, London, England, and Wembley Stadium. Coming up, another edition of the NFL International Series, and it should be a good one between the Detroit Lions. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Green Bay Packers. Rodgers now on first down. A dump underneath to Jones. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker. And now it's third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it. And some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. Call that 49 yards on the punt. They do get seven back on the return. And the Lions will take over. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 23. seen but finding none he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and that's it no gain on the play there so they're left with a third down and six all right quick observation brandon because early on in this game i'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage and my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline as a play car you're filing that away right now aren't you yeah you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And here now the putter, Martin, booming this one away. Returnable here for Davis. And that's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Get ready, get ready, get ready. 
Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And Adams has it. Good play. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Let's this one rip toward Graham. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And this time he's going backwards. So after the no gain on the last attempt, here they get him behind the line. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. On third and long, it's Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. If they open things up, let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. Pretty solid run here on first down. Almost picked up another first, but he appears to be a few inches short. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and in inches is oftentimes... An invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. And eventually he's taken down here. Great coverage downfield, resulting in the sack. Dean Lowry in there to get him. It's a loss of five. And, partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? After the sack on first down, Stafford. And he's got Amendola on the connection. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards, it may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. A short gain there of just four, and that'll bring up a fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, 
a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it, any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The first carry now for the BYU man. It's Jamal Williams. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, he didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. On second and nine, Rodgers, and that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. After the penalty, it's Jones. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. On second and 11 now, Rodgers. And that's complete to Adams. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. The tackle made there by Jared Davis. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. On the counter, here's Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. And our statistician, Ben Ramsire, just held up three fingers to remind me he now has three tackles for a loss rolling in the first quarter. Well, Ben's got it detailed perfectly. He always gives us the right stats. I'd love to be on the offense's headset right now because what you're hearing is, can someone please block him, come up with a scheme, come up with something, make sure you block him because he's disrupting everything. Well, get six on the dump off, but it'll bring up a fourth down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guys. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Reddick with a carry. 
And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. Out of the gun, Stafford. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. Here's Sam Martin now as he's on to punt for Detroit. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. When it's said and done, it's a 58-yard punt. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving him a whole lot of credit and thanking him for that much space to rumble. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantling. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take him the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside, then break it inside. Really well run route. Now a first down carry by Jones. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. They just keep trying, but so far, finding no room for him to run. Not none whatsoever. In fact, you run the numbers. He's under three yards a carry at the moment. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. Jones hit in the ball zone. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. The psychology of the game never ceases to amaze me because you would think there would never be a fumble from what we hear from coaches all the time, right? And how much they practice not fumbling. Practice it, preach it, talk about it all the time. You would think no one would ever turn it over. Yet they are humans out there running around, and we just saw another one. Opportunistic by the defense. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. Got a man, that's Allison. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Rodgers gives this to Jamal Williams. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. They come out here in the eye. 
So now then, the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he'll take this one in for a Packer touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run as his guys are on the board first here tonight. No success on first down. He couldn't get any yardage. They give it to him again, and he finds the end zone. Sometimes it just has to be persistence, doesn't it? And you know who else helps with that? Offensive line. After a team's been stuffed, the last thing they want to do is go to a different play call. They want to come back and do it again and show that they can dominate the line of scrimmage. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. Stafford. James has got it. Complete. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. And he's going to go down again. The ex-Iowa Hawkeye Mike Daniels in for the sack. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. On oh, is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Davis now to return it. A good return there, call it 13 go, yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of 8. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? 
tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mouse trap. But it's hard to do because you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards it. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive linemen creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Rodgers to throw on third and one. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete. Certainly one they'd like to have back as it breaks up fourth down. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. And this will be off the right upright, but he banks it in. A high degree of difficulty there, but he gets it to go. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So he needed a little assist from his friend the right upright, but three points all the same. Yeah, he's a right-footed kicker. Normally, you don't mess with the right upright as a right-footed kicker, right? You're trying to bring it back right to left. But in this case, he got the assist. Right was right. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. They go over the middle, and it's complete to start the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. Not too many teams will use a first-round pick on a tight end, so you know that when one does, he's got to be pretty darn special. A small example of why they took him in the first round there. A nice little catch and run to get the good yardage. A first down carry here for Johnson. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Stafford with a give. This is Riddick. And no room to maneuver there. Give him a yard up to the 47. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Here's Stafford. Out to the flat for Ritter. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 38-yard line.
This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. The shotgun snap for Stafford. Amendola's got it complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Stafford. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 19. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. The Lions into the red zone for the first time. First and 10 at the 19. Now it's Stafford. Jones has it. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Again, at Stafford. This is caught. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Ready. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? To the air again, Stafford. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. They'll try to run this one in. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. So on fourth down, the Lions turn it over to Matt Prater for the field goal try. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, Parker, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And you're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. And he finds his tight end, Graham. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts 
As it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. No, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. It's caught here by Adams. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired. And with a clock reading zeros, he is into the end zone. What an exclamation mark to the end of this second quarter. Indeed. Indeed. And they extend their lead, a little added cushion into the lockers. What a way to finish. Tremendous way. That's momentum that they carry in with them. Can they convert it and bring it back out to start the third quarter? As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. This fielded at the two. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never wanted to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a really, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. It's caught, Jones! And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you at important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it this. indeed. Here come the flags. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Stafford looks to throw again. Throw left side complete. It's James. They'll give him a yard on the play, and it'll make it a second down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. 
And he's going to get this one down inside the 15. And he's got this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Packers 14. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. And a manageable third down becomes a lot less manageable. Third and seven after the false start. From the gun, here's Stafford. And that is incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. A 36-yard attempt. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And a second field goal here gets him back within 11 now. It's 17 to 6. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. All right, they didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need him to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. This will be taken in at the one. Then he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So here are the Packers now. They get set for their first possession of half number two. They've got to right the ship. They had a great first half. But the lead has really gone down. Now, you know, you always talk about the adjustment to the adjustment. They've got to adjust right here. And I think a lot of it is just mentally. Get back to doing what you were doing well in the beginning of the game. But a lot of that is playing with that emotion and that sense of pride and fire that sometimes goes away a little bit when you build up a lead. You think you've got it going. And you also think at any moment I can go ahead and go back to the way it was before. You and I both know it's not that easy once you get off the gas a little. Yeah, they don't want to see this lead diminish anymore. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Watch the slip. Watch the slip. They'll go again to Jones. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Rodgers going to try and throw on third down. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Adams. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So the Lions offense ready to go back out onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Amendola, the intended receiver, and now it's second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, 
is a credit to their defense. They've kept their men by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Stafford down. Perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Stafford throwing on target to Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Throwing again at Stafford. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. On the ground, it's Rennick. Now they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. They got two of the three they needed there. It leaves them with third and just a yard. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. There'll be some contact going on. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll try the air now with Stafford. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. That catch good for five. It's third down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Now Stafford. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. Prater's kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. 
And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his running back, Aaron Jones, that time. But it'll be second down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Probably you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Yeah, It'll be a gain of six, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. To throw is Rodgers. And he finds Jimmy Graham. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Two former All-Pros connecting. Rodgers fighting his tight end, Graham. Packer first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. He's checking, he's checking, he's checking. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 13 yards, first down, Packers. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but... There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. Just one big carry away from busting this open, that's a good start for him. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available, and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Here's Rodgers to throw. Let's this one rip toward Graham. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Sure, that pass was incomplete as they made an attempt to get a big one downfield. But that's okay because the second part of that is if you don't get the completion, at least you've told the defense you're trying to stretch them out a little bit and they may have to change accordingly. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Throwing is Rodgers. This complete to Jones. And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Give them credit. They knew what they wanted to dial up on fourth. They executed it for nine yards, and the offense stays out there. Rodgers now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. This is Jones. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. No gain on the play there. Second down. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on second down. Rodgers caught by Jones. 
And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 24-yard line. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. To throw again, Rodgers. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. And now offensively, it's third and 10. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scambling. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Throwing now is Rodgers. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. On any first and goal, the real estate to work with for the offense is really cut down, and the defense knows it. So they often bring heat and pressure, which they did on this play. Got him down for a loss. Not a big one, but any loss of yardage in this position is tough for an offense. On second down now. It's Williams, and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Rodgers now on third and goal. Got a man open, it's Adams. Touchdown, Green Bay. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Packers are able to stretch that lead out further. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Crosby with the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So here come the Lions now. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, right? Yeah, a little tired, and if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield on giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide-open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive. 
knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they held him in check on the scoreboard. Open man is Galladay, complete. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. The Lions on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, 3 for 10. This is third and four. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Got a man, it's Amendola. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 38-yard line. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Now a first down throw. Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 yards there and a line first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. <laughs> on first down at Stafford. This is Reddick on the screen. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Ready. Able to get Ready. seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. They were looking good on second down, but now they're backed up five yards by the false start, and it's second and eight. Again, it's Stafford. James has got it, complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get them in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his big tight end there, Jesse James. And it's third and five. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Stafford now to throw. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. Dean Lowry, his second sack of the night. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field.
Now it's Martin to do the honors after the made field goal. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Now trotting out there, the Packers getting ready to go. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. To throw again on second down, Rodgers. Devon Kennard gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Looking deep for Adams. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And possession will switch. Hands first and ten. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. Super <laughs> Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last corner. Let's see how this plays out. Here's Stafford. He completes it to Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. First and 10 at the 46-yard line. Set, waiting. On first down, Stafford here. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. To the air again, Stafford. Complete to Jones. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 31-yard line. 
Now, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now Stafford into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And his guys are going to take over at the 21-yard line. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 21. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Again, it's Williams. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Has to. You said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Throwing is Rodgers on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Here's J.K. Scott now. He's been terrific so far. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So Stafford and the Lions now. Down by 12, a minute 52 to play. Field goals, useless at this point. They need two touchdowns, and they need them in short order. Try to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He finds Riddick complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Tremont Williams. Past the 10 to the 11-yard line, and that's where the return stops. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And a short gain here across the 10 to the 12. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. Again, it's Jones. And able to find a little space. He gets this up over the 15 to the 16. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. This is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where 
the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that when we're having a tough patch. This too shall pass, this too shall pass. And it finally kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Throwing again, Stafford. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They snap it to Stafford. It's caught. Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Here we go. First Here we down, go. Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Throwing is Stanford. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And this one boiled down in the end, Charles, to simply too much Aaron Rodgers. We've seen this many times before, haven't we? And I'm sure we'll see it again in the future. Extreme confidence in his abilities. Extreme confidence in his teammates. Never thinks a game is out of reach because his right arm can equalize anything a defense can put out there. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night, everybody.